Alrighty guys, welcome to your 19th Ajax tutorial and in this video what I want to do is, well I think it's pretty obvious, we need to add some styling. We need to work on that CSS because if you're looking at this, I mean for real this looks like the first website ever made. It's horrendous. So let's go ahead and work on that Bucky CSS file. So I'm just going to go ahead and put new and I'll save this as Bucky.CSS. All right, so the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two different sets of styles. Now, each style is going to be composed of three classes. One class is going to be for the overall table, you know, like background color, pretty much the overall style of the table. Another class is going to be for the head, and the other class is going to be for each individual item. So again, I'm going to have one overall style, or one theme, I'll call it, for the dude, and one theme for the chick. And then we'll go ahead and, you know, set everything in JavaScript depending on what button they click using some cool Ajax. But for right now, we just need to go ahead and worry about the styles. So I'll go ahead and call the do table, do table. You see how I came up with that name? All right, do table. And what do we want to do for the do table? Let's just go ahead and put a border of three picks solid. And here is a cool reddish color that I use a lot. CC0000. And that's just nice, you know, a red color. What's another uh, background color we can use? Background color. Um, here's one of my favorites 0099CC. And this is actually one of my, uh, it's like a shade of blue, but it's an awesome shade of blue. Can't wait to show you. And since we have, you know, kind of a dark red and a kind of a darker blue, we want to actually change the color of the text for the entire table to white. It'll be a little bit easier to see. So now what I want to do is this is the overall styling that we're going to apply to the entire table. Now what I want to do is I want to apply individual styles to the head, which says things in my pocket, and also the items which are chapstick and cell phone because usually the point of a head on a table is to make it stand out you know like list the categories or columns so you want the head to be different than you know just a regular data or else it's all gonna blend in together so now what I want to do is make another class called dude head and I'm just gonna set the font family to Verdana not Vardana Ver Dana, maybe that's how you say it, I don't freaking know. Set the font weight to bold because bold is manly and it is the head. And set the font size to um, 18 pixels. And whenever we put the chick head, we'll make the font size a little bit smaller because guys are generally bigger than women, you know, that's just biology. And now the last thing we need to do is take care of the items styling. So we're gonna put dude, and we'll just go ahead and put items I guess now for font family we'll just go ahead and copy this but we're going to change it to Arial and we'll just go ahead and copy this font size and we'll put this at 16 because I would like if the head is a little bit if the text on the head is a little bit bigger than the items right there I think it will look a little bit you know more Sorry, just lost my train of thought. So now what I want to do is, this is basically the styling for one theme, the theme of the dude. So let me just go ahead and copy this, and I'm just going to add a comment so I don't get confused about where things are. And I'm going to change all this to chick. So wherever I see dude, chick table, chick head, chick items. Chick dude kind of sounds like a cool word. Chick dude. Hey, chick dude. Nah, it's, it, it isn't. I changed my mind. So what I want to do for the chick table is I'll just go ahead and give it a bigger border. Um, 10 pixel solid in a pink color that I actually like a lot. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I don't like it. I mean, my sister likes it. That's what I meant to say. 3399. Now for the border color, I'll give it a nice yellow in FFF. F U. No, I'm just kidding. Zero zero for the yellow, and the color is not white because um, white would not show up good on here. So the default coloring of all text is black. So we don't need to specify black because that's just what it's going to be. So now for the chick head, 
Um, let's go ahead and give a font family. Georgia is kind of a girly, you know, it's kind of has those little wavy things on it. And font family, uh, or excuse me, font weight, I guess that can stay bold since it is the head. But we do want to make this a little bit smaller since, you know, chicks a little bit smaller. And let's just go ahead and change this font family to Georgia 2 for the items. The font size is going to be 14. And one other thing I want to do is I want to change font, style, italic. Because, you know, it kind of gives you the feeling that, like, cursive, girls, italic. I don't know. Just kind of, uh, you know, I'm just following my heart here, guys. So basically, what we did in this video is we set two main themes. Now, remember, by default, as soon as our web page opens, it's not going to have any theme because we don't know what the user is yet. So we're going to give them the option of choosing I'm a dude or I'm a chick, or if they're bored, they can just, you know, click each back and forth. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to set this style if they click I'm a dude, and this style if they click I'm a chick. And we're going to be doing that through Ajax and JavaScript. So right now, even though we saved it and linked to it, nothing happens. So we need to add the mediator of the JavaScript file, and we're going to be doing that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.